Have you been invited to a fashion show that falls on a Sunday and it's cold and rainy where you are and you're like, what do I put with my big giant Bathsheba earrings that's going to make me look chic, going to make me look like I didn't even try? What kind of outfit can I put together that I can rock, look good, feel good, be good? but still maintain the comfort of a Sunday night. Don't worry. I was in that exact same situation last Sunday and I am going to share with you a look that I put together that made me feel A, comfortable, B, amazing, and that made me feel chic, sexy, trendy, and on point with my giant Bathsheba earrings. And yes, I am only wearing a bra. But it's for you. I'm doing all of this. Doing all of this for you. I'm on the interwebs. Like this. For you. If you are new here. If you are new to my Instagram feed. Hi, welcome. My name is Chantel Bancroft. I am the fashion designer of theurbantiger.com. And I make jewellery, statement, vibrant jewellery. Caribbean inspired jewellery for women who firstly consider themselves to be phenomenal, secondly a shame fighter and thirdly a rainbow unicorn. How do you put together a look, right? How do you put together a look around your big giant earrings? Because these are big mother suckers and as lovely as they are, they can be a little bit daunting, right? if to put with just like your normal wear that being said if you're going to a fashion show which i was going to these were the first earrings i thought of wearing when i was laying down in my bed that whole week trying to you know just prepare myself for going out on the saturday first thing sunday sorry the sunday first thing i thought of was these earrings so i styled my outfit kind of around these earrings and that is what i do sometimes sometimes i don't know what i want to wear when i go to an event but i do know that I want to wear a certain a certain style of earring because I know how that style makes me feel and I know that it's appropriate for the occasion. So a fashion show is one of those things where like you want to look good, right? You want a little bit of your personality to come out, you want to shine, you want your clothes to do the talking, you want people to look at you as you walk into the room, get into your seat. You want all of that attention but you don't want to scream it. You don't want to say look at me, look at me, look at me with your mouth but you want to say it with the way you're dressed. So I'm going to tell you the story of Sunday. So my good friend T had tickets. She scored some tickets because that's the kind of girl she is. She rolls like that. She's connected. She knows everybody. She scored some tickets to a show called, and I've got my phone here because I've not heard of the show before. It's called the Beautiful You Fashion Tour. If you've heard this about this tour before, if you've been a part of this tour as a model or as a designer or just as an audience member leave a comment um, any leave a comment under this video and let me know because that was the first time I had heard about that um, event I'd never heard about it before um, and what I liked about this event before I go into the whole story of it <laughs> what I liked about the um, beautiful fashion tour is that it promotes beauty in all shapes sizes colors and disabilities or ab and abilities um, and so it's really a tour it gives everybody the opportunity no matter where you are in your career or no matter what you look like it gives you the opportunity to have light shined upon you for you to do the thing you want to do within the fashion space it's very very good um, I've never heard about it before um, it's touring all the way around and the next place it's going to be is in Paris so if you're in Paris watching this bonjour uh, comment tu belle Je m'appelle Chantelle. If you're, in, if you're in Paris watching this, check it out. It's amazeballs. Anyway, so when my friend told me that she scored tickets, I was like, fashion show, hell yeah. I have a disability that keeps me in my house quite a bit of time. I also um, do a lot of work from home, and so I'm here 90% of the time. And it, it is good for me to get out and meet people and also be able to let people know what I do, right? I'm a designer. People should know what I do. And it brings people to the website. And they can check out all the goodies over there. So I was like, yeah, fashion show, yeah, cool, let's go. However, for the past couple of weeks, it has been rainy as fuck. 
in London. Windy, rainy, like some kind of like hailstony, like there's some kind of hurricane occurring and I don't know about it. It's just been shitty. It's been shitty. I've been wearing my welly boots straight for like a month. <laughs> okay. Then she told me it's going to drop on a Sunday. If you've ever been to the blog, if you go to the Urban Tiger blog, which FYI, you can visit by going to the link in the profile and scrolling down to where it says blog. You'll find the link. I post up there things that I'm doing on a Sunday. Like that's my, that's the thing that I do to connect with people. I take pictures of what I'm doing on a Sunday. These are the things I do on a Sunday. Sometimes I cook food. <laughs> Sometimes. Because I don't like cooking on a Sunday. I like cooking days before so that on Sunday I can sit down with my whole meal, right? Sometimes I cook on a Sunday. Do a lot of sleeping on a Sunday. I chill out. And I like to cock up my foot and watch Columbo. Actually, Sunday is what me and my family call Columbo Sunday. That is it. That is all we do on a Sunday. I've been doing that for years. Make sure I'm still recording because my camera likes to say fuck you. Been doing that for Sunday. So Sunday is designated um, Columbo Sunday day, right? So I was like, okay, I can miss a Columbo. I can, like, ease up myself because it's been a while since I've been out, right? Then she tells me, she sends me a picture of the tickets and it says 7 o'clock. And I'm like, cock a far 7 o'clock on a Sunday. That is like, 7 o'clock on a Sunday is like, <laughs> it's like, that is like, that is the wind down hour, right? That is like, that's like, for some people, that is their Instagram time. When you just roll, roll through your phone and you look and you make comments and you leave funny stuff under people's feed. Or it's your Facebook time. That is like, that is like your wind down time. That is not what I do with my 7 o'clock in the evenings. I am usually chilling, listening to some jazz. But either way, 7 o'clock on a Sunday, it's not the one. So we agreed, me and T, we agreed. And this is T, this is Tamina. Um, I'll leave a link in um, the... Uh, video so you can go and check her out she's an amazing pattern cut and amazing designer and um, on Instagram she has um, um, she has a really great feed about things that she's doing and she makes um, amongst all the other things that she does she makes um, really beautiful colorful vibrant headbands so I'll leave a link and you can go check her out and say hey <laughs> you can tell her you can tell her that I told this story <laughs> about, her, about us going to the fashion show Anyway, so we agreed, me and T, we agreed that if it rains by 4 o'clock on Sunday, we're going to keep our respective asses home. It did not rain, okay? <laughs> it didn't rain. So rather than doing what I usually do, where I would like pick things out, oh, pick things out. I've got my notes here. I want to make sure I tell the story properly. So I'm trying to find somewhere to put it so I can talk to you. Um, yeah, rather than think about like things be beforehand because I like to pre-plan my outfits I decided that on the day I'll just I'll just kind of work out what it was the other contributing factor to this whole Sunday thing being a bit like uh, I don't know is that my period my period was due okay and I don't know if you're like me but like last few years I have been suffering from some seriously painful periods right and so I've now made it a rule that I don't do anything on the first day of my period and my period was due according to my um my app on the Friday so I said to her you don't want to be around me when that occurs so we had like another pack if the period starts we don't go if it rains after four o'clock we don't go okay it didn't rain and my period didn't start so uh, we went but um a few hours before I was like what should I wear what should I wear because I want to look it's a fashion event right and if you're going to a fashion event you want to look fashiony and someone who works in the industry you feel this <laughs> you feel like this you feel like you have to <laughs> you have to look good <laughs> That's truth be told you do but if you're going to a fashion event whether or not you work in fashion or not you do feel this this sense of I have to dress in a set like I have to bring all of me out right people must see me I have to bring out that trendy go-getting bubbly side of me and it needs to come out in the most simplest classic way okay so like I said it was cold it was rainy um period was approaching so I needed to be comfortable and um I had this bright idea of what I was going to wear. So I'm going to share that with you now in this video. The reason why I am wearing my bra for you 
is because I want to build up the story. I want to tell the story by putting on different elements and telling you why I put on those elements and what I was trying to achieve whilst doing that. And that's because I am very much someone who advocates deciding your outfit based on your comfortability. How you want to feel when you go out should be the first um, intention on your list when you're trying to think about what you want to wear do I want to feel comfortable do I want to do I want to walk around a lot am I going to be sitting a lot you know and that's something that I have to think about a lot um, with my health condition and just generally when you're going out or if your period's coming you're not you're not yourself you? you're, you're like you can feel that chemical imbalance occurring things are irritating you a little bit more. so the fashion show was being held in the Irish Centre in Camden. I've never been to the Irish Centre before, so I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. And I hate when I go into environments and they're cold, because if I'm cold, I'm not myself and I can't really concentrate on what's going on. So I thought to myself, I'm going to wear a jumper. And being an 80s chick, I like everything 80s. I'm a, I'm a, a diehard for a, for a vintage top. So... I have in my arsenal of jumpers uh, a, a lovely graphic, bold graphic, um, 80s style vintage jumper. And I think a jumper is a really good idea because, again, you want to feel comfortable. And you can't feel comfortable if you're cold. Or at least I can't feel comfortable if I'm cold. So a jumper is a really good idea. A jumper that's a little bit fitted or oversized but has a really interesting cut to it. Um, is definitely going to say fashion darling without you having to be like fashion darling. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna very it's gonna give it's gonna it's gonna help you to create that statement without you having to try too hard. And I'm definitely someone who likes minimum effort, maximum output, right? So I this is my jumper, this is one of my favourite jumpers. And incidentally, I bought this jumper from a uh, thrift shop um for four pounds about six years ago yeah you get the best things in secondhand stores so this is the jumper I decided to go with it is beautiful it's got the same print back and front it has a crew neck so it sits there on the neck and it has bat wing sleeves and they're um, three quarter length this is a lovely jumper and so to me I was like yeah this is definitely going to work it's going to keep me warm and it's an interesting top it makes a statement by itself it speaks um to the 80s which I love so my personality is in this so this is what I decided to go with right so let me put this on for you it's really nice and it's got a little bit of bling there's some gold thread running through it and if you have jumpers that have a big statement wear it this is really good it says so much about you like you see me wearing this, you know, this girl loves vintage. She already stylish, right? It's got a really lovely print. This is one of my favorite jumpers. So this was my first layer, because what I went with. Now remember, I knew I wanted to wear these big earrings, right? And when I thought about these earrings, I was like, oh my God, they're gonna go amazing with this print. They're gonna go amazing because it's kind of mirrors the zigzag in here the waves in here are gonna be mirrored in the print and that's another good styling tip if you've got these big earrings and you've got something in your arsenal a jumper that um, has zigzags in it put the look do it together match it up together it's gonna work really well if you can match if you can mirror the shape of your earrings to the print of the top that you're wearing you've already done half the job like seriously so this is what I went with on top. It's kind of sexy, kind of sexy because it's a little bit fitted, so it shows a little bit of my body, which is very nice. So I had that on, right? Next, I was like, okay, what do I put on down bottom? What have I got? So to a rule of thumb that I do to balance out a wide top, because you can see it's kind of wide. Let me go back a little bit. See if you can see this. Hold on kind of wide okay kind of wide right it's kind of wide and to balance out something with a lot of width on top it's a good idea to taper the bottom so if you've got a wide so if you if you're wearing a garment that's kind of 
billowy and wide at the bottom then taper the top wear something that's a little bit fitted at the top and vice versa if you've got something balloons out then wear something opt for something that's a little bit slimmer fitting down the bottom so it comes down like that it just helps to balance out the shape a little bit stops you from looking like a tent unless you want to look like a tent then roll with that so that's what I did so I decided to go with my H&M my H&M jeans which are very lovely these jeans are high-waisted and I'll show you hopefully you can see that so you can see that the base of this jumper drops just underneath my belly roll right and I'm wearing they're high-waisted so you can see they're high-waisted and that's high-waisted is so comfortable y'all so comfortable so when I sit down ain't nothing rolling down right slip that over that and it's nice and this gives me a little bit of sexiness <laughs> right you can see this look coming together you can see it's coming together okay let me sit back down okay so lastly my crown so a week before this show um i had trimmed my hair using my clippers and i've been doing that for a long time and i'm pretty good at it but every now and again every now and again i balls up and I fucked up my hair, basically. <laughs> I fucked up my hair. And I was like, it's, I could cover my hair with a headscarf, because I do that all the time. But it was so cold outside. I wasn't sure that the headscarf was going to be enough, of pro enough protection between me and the elements. One second. Sit my ginger. Also, I don't think I have a headscarf that will really go with this you know my head scarves are patterned I don't think I've got one I didn't feel like doing a hack like when you put a t-shirt on your head I didn't feel like doing all that so I was just like what have I got what have I got that screams chic screams fashion my primani beret with the bow on the top wait 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 watch watch you see that beret screams chic and on my beret I have my little flamingo bling that I put on there and that like that says a lot about me that's like a, that's a very very personal touch I put that on my beret because people don't know this about me but I have a thing about animal brooches and so put my little flamingo um, brooch on my beret right you see it coming together right you see it coming together so now let me put on the giant dangles for you. Let me put these on. So you can just get that transformation. You can just feel it happening as it happens. And don't worry, I'm going to talk about footwear um, in a minute. Because I can't, you know, I mean, I haven't forgotten. You've got to put shoes on. But I just want you to see this happening as it happens. Hold on, hold on. Let's come she ready she ready put my stuffer in just in case it moves about because these tend to okay hold on let me adjust i got a little mirror here let me just get it soft okay you feel this right feeling this I know you're feeling this I know you're feeling this I know you're feeling this before we talk about shoes I like to wear a scarf in the winter I like to wear scarves and I like scarves that have an interest in print okay I like classic classic scarves like wool scarves I like um, handmade scarves I'm just a scarf freak and I think a scarf, when you throw a scarf on with a look like this, I don't know, it just does something, right? I haven't got words for what it does, but it just does something. So then I throw on my scarf and I was like, I probably will wear this scarf for like half the evening and then I'll take it off because I want people to see that I've got these big, beautiful earrings on. But look at that. This is exactly what I did in the mirror. I did that and I pulled these out. You feel it, right? You feel it. You feel that, right? I had the scarf just adds a bit of... Oh, I'm so cool. I'm at a fashion show. <laughs> right? Okay. Lastly, footwear. Now, I had a choice to make. I'm going to back back so you can see this. You can really see this happening. You can see this, right? I'm going to I'm gonna talk to you about footwear. Now, as somebody who um, 
as somebody who has uh, issues with her mobility I like my shoes to be comfortable that being said I have pretty pretty shoe um, the thought of going to a fashion show made me immediately think oh I'll put on my pretty pretty boots I've got my pretty pretty um, knee-high boots right pretty pretty knee-high boots made out of leather they're from ASOS they're beautiful they're lovely boots however remember I told you earlier in the story that it was Sunday and and Sunday's about comfort that um, my um, period was due and that it had been raining and coming like hurricane for at least a week so I had a choice to make pretty pretty shoe or welly pretty pretty shoe or welly and I went with my wellies I went with my amazing wellies <laughs> okay and I went with these wellies for two reasons. First of all, you know what I mean? It's either pretty or functional. And, like, wellies are functional. They're designed to be um, water resistant. And my wellies are special because I, I particularly... I spent some time um, uh, just before Christmas um, choosing a nice pair of wellies because I knew what the weather was going to be like this year, generally. So I already had these wellies in tow. But I was like, I'm going to wear my wellies. My wellies are special. I wore these. I wore my amazing purple print, purple giraffe print wellies, right? And I thought to myself, you know, these are snazzy by themselves. With this look, it just adds to that. Like, look at this girl. She's got on these big earrings. I wonder where she got these earrings from. She's got on a nice scarf, which looks really warm and cool. She's got on a chic hat. She's got some bling happening. She looks sexy, sexy with her... With her um, her little tight um, jeans and then she's got this amazing print like willy like who is this girl <laughs> who is this girl so I can't move the camera for you to see my shoes although I might be able to but I think if I move the camera for you to see my shoes you may also see that my um, the room that I'm filming this in is pretty messy so I'm gonna hold my shoes up here and just do this for you Ugh. Just do this. Like, just imagine. See it all happening. See it all happening. Yeah. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to take a picture oh, of myself in this whole outfit and put it up on the blog. So, um, if you want to see how this whole outfit works together, I'm going to put it up on the blog as a blog post. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this show. But look. Don't I look? Don't I look? Don't I look like I'm ready? Don't I look? Oh, don't I look like I'm ready? And then when I take this off, because I did take this off, I was just like, yeah, these earrings are great. Don't I look like I have life? Huh? Don't I look? And it's just so simple. It's so simple. Like, I think if you work with comfort first and you work backwards from your, like, if you start from your comfort zone and you work backwards into a look, it will really work. And this is a very easy look to put with Giant Bash. That's it, guys. That is what... <laughs> that is how you style Giant Bash. Ugh, this is so many names. That is how you put together a look. That's an idea for a look. If you're going to a fashion show on a Sunday, your period is due and it's rainy and cold outside and you know you want to wear your giant Bathsheba dangles, this is a look that you can try. Um, this was a look that I did. And I I also had, I also ordered a cup of tea. So I'm sitting there with like my rooibos tea and looking amazing and I'm just like, ah, oh, this girl. <laughs> It was a fantastic show and I'm really glad that my friend invited me to go with her. Had a really amazing time. I met some, um, I met um, an amazing designer who's doing some great stuff and yeah, it was just good all round. Yeah, if you want to know more about these earrings, you can go over to the shop. It's in browsing mode at the moment because the shop is going to be open on the 1st of May for 60 days. It's open from the 1st of May until the 3rd of July. That's the time you can get your goodies, get some stuff in for spring. Spring is coming, it's going to get warmer. You can go and get your goodies over there so you've got your things in time for when the war weather gets warmer and you can truly bust out your true self. The link is in the profile, scroll down, all the information is there. There's links to wherever you want to go, you'll find these earrings. Um, if you want more videos, if you want to see more videos like this, there's a couple of things you can do. You can go over to the, you can follow this feed um, and you'll be notified, even though there's algorithm things, you'll be notified through Instagram of 
when there is a new post coming up second thing you can do is join the newsletter um the link is in the profile scroll down you'll see it very clearly there join the newsletter and i will let you know when i'm doing more of these videos the third thing you can do and the thing that i encourage the most is that you join the urban tiger tribe it's a facebook group that i have formed and i'm reviving and it's growing very slowly and i formed that facebook group so that women can help support other women going through their journey of being their version their journey towards being becoming their version of a phenomenal queen it's there for you to share your life experiences your styling hacks um, i also put up different exercises or different motivational exercises during the week um, so that you on a monday so that you can start your week off in a positive space um, it's also the place where you can have your say on new product um, products that are coming out or if you want new it's also a place for you to be able to vote on new products, new additions, um, to give feedback on things, to say what you want. Um, I started this company because I, this was something that wasn't available. Caribbean inspired fashion and jewellery just wasn't there available. I couldn't get access to it, it was too difficult and it's not in high street stores it's not an aesthetic that is appreciated in the fashion industry and i decided that i wanted to build a company that was part of the solution um to a problem that i think is really really big um when the caribbean is more than just a festival that happens every year we are a lifestyle we are a culture and we have history and that history is infectious and it dominates and it affects everyone and everything and the fact that there is no fashion accessible there's nothing on the high street that you can go and get to share to show your appreciation to be able to connect with that culture to me is unbelievable and so that's why i started this company to be part of the solution to make things these things um, available for you so if you want to have your say tell me what you want you need to join the facebook group go to the link in the bio scroll down to say join the tribe and come over there's a few of us in that group it's growing slowly but i want it to be big so come over contribute have your say help queens help yourself <laughs> motivate and support other people <laughs> come over to the group